Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about how you can fix the error 0x8024001e from the Windows Update Service. So maybe when you're trying to install some updates in your Windows 10 operating system, you're receiving a, a, an error that sounds something like could not complete install because an update service was shutting down, failed to install on the date you, that when you tried to install it, and of course the error. So in this video, I'm going to show you some easy things that you can do in Windows 10 to fix this issue. And of course, these steps and these solutions helped other people fix their problems and their errors, of course. What I'm going to show you in this video is how you can reset the Windows Update Components manually. So this will help you completely reset the Windows Update Components and that should easily fix your problem. So first of all, what do we have to do? Type in the search bar CMD, right click on CMD and then click on Run as Administrator. On user account control, click on yes. Now here in user account control, you're going to have to paste in four commands. These four commands will stop four different services from your Windows operating system. It will stop bits, cryptography, MSI installer, and Windows update services. We will stop them at first, and then we're going to restart them by using another four commands. The first command is net stop w u a i u s E R V. After you paste it in, press enter. And as you can see, Windows Update Service is stopping. Of course, all these commands that I'm going to use in this video will be in the description down below. So you can get them from there. You can copy and paste them in your CMD. So don't worry about that. Next command, net stop bits, press enter. As you can see, in my case, it is not activated. So that's not a problem. Maybe in your case, it is and it will stop. Then net stop crypt SVC, press enter. And the last one, net stop MSI server, and then press enter. And now, as I've said, we're going to use another four different commands that will start these services again. So the first one is net start bits, then net start WUAIU serve, then net start crypt SVC, and then press enter. Of course, press enter after inserting every command. And then the last one, net start MSI server. Now, what do you need to do? Just exit out of your CMD and restart your computer, restart Windows 10, and check again in Windows Update and see if the error is still there. If the error persists after the restart, just go again and type in the search bar CMD, right click on CMD and then click on run as administrator and then click on yes. Now we're going to use some different commands that will reset some components in our operating system. The first one is net sh winsock reset all, press enter. Yet again, all the commands that I'm going to use here will be in the description down below. Uh, some commands, as you can see, will not be in some versions of Windows 10, but that really is not a problem. And of course, as I've said, copy and paste every command one by one. These commands will reset some Windows components related to the network and Windows update and stuff like that. And after inserting all the commands, you have to exit out of the CMD and then restart your computer for the changes to take effect. After the restart, your computer should be good to go. You should not get the error anymore. You should be able to update your Windows operating system or install the update that gave you that annoying error. So this was the video for today. I'm hoping that it was useful. Don't forget to leave a like down below this video if the video was useful. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel, to the tech-based channel for more videos like this. And I uh, remind you again, if you have problems, if you have errors in your Windows operating system, don't forget to leave them down below in the comments. And if I know a solution and if I encountered the error myself and I know a solution, I'm going to be glad to make a video in order to help you guys. So as I've said, this was the video. Until next time, I wish you all a very nice day and a happy new year.